hot, hot, <laughs> hot, hot. With the bike together as is, it rolls really smoothly, like old street bearings and all. <laughs> I cut apart the 500cc street bike frame and we're gonna turn it into something today. So, let's see what we can come up with. All right, so this is kind of what we're thinking. We got this for the engine here. We're using a 212 out of power plant. Swing arm is going to come off of the back here. Like that. Swing arm is gonna come right off the back like this something that okay but I want to shorten it a little bit I think too so I want to cut it through right here and right here so that way this front part's gone and then just the back part will be up there like that okay so let's get the saw off I'm trying to the saw off mm -hmm. All right, we cut it off. It's heavy. That one piece of metal right there is heavy. That's one big. So now, bust. What we're going to be able to do is show you what we're going to do. And then, our engine will sit on this. So, like that. Wherever it needs to end up sitting, like, line up with the chain. Rock repair. That we'll figure out later. Once we install like that together. Both look nice. I think like both will be unique. Because then, then the swing arm is straighter. I like that. It's not so angled. I kind of want it straighter like this. I think we're going to do that. that Alright, so I figured out how I want to get this set situated. We're going to. Put this on the bottom and the engine is going to go right on top of this and weld it on just like this, right in here to start. So, we're going to hold it in place and then Kamal's going to hold it while I tack it and then we're going to adjust the other side to make it how we need it, to make it easier. So hold, quick, hold it all right.
so we got our angle finder on here. Making brackets for the rear um, section to mount to. So this is the angle I want to pack it. Ground pack. All right, so here's the rear section of the frame coming together. All right, so I'm working on this and thinking and planning and figuring out what I want to do here. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what I'm going to do. So the first next thing I'm going to do is I cut off the big engine plate that came off of this. I'm going to weld two pipes on instead that go across. One here and then one right over here, going straight across like that. So I'm going to measure out how long I want those and I'm going to trim those first. So right like that, about how our engine's gonna sit down in there then. Just like so. And then to get the chain to line up back here, I'm, going, I'm thinking about installing a jag shaft right here. Like this. All right, now I, I got the engine plate tacked on and Got the frame rail pack on. I'm going to square up these top two rails here, and I'm going to trim the excess bracket off here, and we're going to weld this all back in because we cut it out thinking we could make something work, but it didn't work. So now I got to correct our mess up. So right about there is where the engine's gonna sit. So now I'm gonna get 
these two, I'm gonna trim them up to be the same length, and then you're gonna get cocked on up here like this. Going out like that. All right, so we mocked up where we want the front of the bike to be, and we made brackets, a bracket here that's going to go in here and hold it in place. So, got the other side cut out, now it's time to tack it in, make sure everything's all set where we want it, and then we can put some full welds in. Yeah. All right, so we got the um, head tube tacked on where we want it. We took the engine out, so now we're gonna start welding up a few things and we're going to make the down stems that go from there down to the bottom there to secure the head tube in permanently. And then we can take this black bar right here out. So we're also gonna start welding and I'm gonna sand a little bit. This is going to go like this. On the here. Now, I'm going to trim this. Right there. Tack on the bottom first. Watch your eyes. All right, so we got the one side tacked on now. So that's how the one side is. Now I gotta do the other side. So I tapped these onto the front here, but I do not like the way it looks from the front. It's not even at all, and I do not like that at all. So I'm cutting them both off and I'm gonna change it around and make it better.
Yeah, that looks way better. Way, way better. So that's what we're working with so far. Looking pretty good. Looks a lot better like that. With the bike together as it is, it rolls really smoothly. Like old street bearings and all. But our alignment so far, it's pretty good. Like it's not yeah. feeling wobbly or anything. Of course, once we get it rolling, it might chunk, but so far it feels good. Yup, it looks sweet. It's definitely different. Build our own dang frame. Mm-hmm. Out of a perfectly fine Ninja 500. <laughs> yup. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch us in the next one where we install the drivetrain for this thing and handlebars, handlebars and then we actually, uh, hopefully we'll do a test ride, so. Yeah. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. This thing coming out sweet. This is our first ever like full custom frame. So yeah. what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments.